Hi, how are you going? Well, thanks. How are you? Not too bad. We were hoping for a tour of paramedicine. Absolutely. Come on in. I'm just about to go into a sim centre. So, what are you studying? Um, so, I'm a third year Bachelor of Clinical Practice paramedic student here at the Bathurst campus. What is this room? So this is one of our scenario rooms here in the Sim Centre. We can learn how to assess our patients, how to make a diagnosis and treat them. So what's that machine? So this is the Life Pack 15. So what we do with that is we can cardiac monitor and it's also used as a defibrillator for a patient in cardiac arrest. And these packs here, you take them to every single site visit? Yep, we do. So these are our three main kits that we use here at the uni and they're the same three standard kits you'll find in ambulance service. What are they for? Okay, so this one here is for oxygen administration and airway management. This one is for all, all of our uh, intravenous cannulation, administration of fluids. We've also got our drug kit here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a quick assessment of this patient. I might just pop some oxygen on him just to help out with, help out with his breathing. So in the course, do you get any opportunity to go out in a real ambulance? Yeah, we do. So with our ambulances out here, we get the opportunity to go out on placement in our second and our third year. And we get assigned to a paramedic who's operational on road. We follow them around for four weeks and we get to respond to triple zero calls like we would as a real paramedic. What was that like? It was amazing. We get to learn about all of the things that are done on road we get to be exposed to real patients, which is really nice to be able to communicate with people, learn about things such as mental health, and um, actually performing procedures on a real person. So is it pretty confronting the first time you're out on the road? Absolutely. So um, I guess you never really know what you're going to with um, being a paramedic. Every day you sit in there and you wait for the call and you're never quite sure what it's gonna be until it comes through. So I guess that's one of the things I love about this degree. So how is it assessed? Like, how do they know what you're doing with patients? Um, so, actually, in this sim centre here, we have a couple of rooms that are set up with some cameras. So, I'll show you what they look like. Cool. Right, so this is the assessment room. Yep, so this is one of our assessment rooms. So, as you can see here, we have some form of trauma patient. Most likely, it looks like some form of gravel rash or burn up here. Um, so, if we had a patient like this in an assessment, we would come into a room like this. It's decked out with um, the lighting. It has a camera for recording. This screen will actually reflect what's going on on the cameras. And we also have microphones and speakers. So the patient will actually have a voice and be able to talk to us like a real patient. So what do you think you're gonna do when you finish the course? Um, so I wanna work as a paramedic on road and ambulance service. So I've actually just received a job with London Ambulance Service as a registered paramedic. So I start in March, so I'll just be working on road as a paramedic. Wait, in London, how did you get that job? Um, so I actually applied for that job online after doing a CSU Global trip. So CSU Global are some trips that our university offer for different degrees in which we can go and experience the career choice that we have in different countries. So my CSU Global trip took me to the East Midlands in England and into London. We got to see different things like working on road as an ambulance officer working uh, in a dispatch and call taking centre. And we also got to learn about um, rescue paramedics that are working in the London Ambulance Service. Um, if you follow me, we've got our nursing sim centre and what we do there is we learn how to communicate with different nurses and doctors and hand over our patients to the hospital. So this is our nursing assistance room. So basically, we use this for first year skills, learning how to move patients from bed to stretcher and vice versa. We learn about patient care. And also in this room over here is where we will learn how to hand over our patients so that we know when we get to the hospital, what's expected of us from the nursing students and from the um, doctors. Well, thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our simulation centre. Thank you so much. We'll show ourselves out.